next we will take a look at uh, the append data how to append the data okay first of all what is appending appending the data you have let's say you have multiple files are there okay and you need to combine them into a single file let's say the data are given by your um, management or not available in a single file it is available in multiple files in that case you need to combine all the files into a single file so when uh, you will be doing this kind of um, aggregation or sorry appending the data so in this case what we do is we combine multiple tables or queries together vertically queries together vertically so we are going to stack one data set on top of another data set for example you have something like this just Let's say uh, your manager or someone is giving you week one file. Okay. This, this file consists of seven days data in it. Seven days data in it. Okay. This file consists of And then the second week when he gives the data, he wants to see last two weeks sales performance. In that case, obviously you need to Combined. So in this case, what we do is we are going to stack the this one vertically. You are going to this one. You are going to push it to this one. Okay. So if you combine or else, let's let's do this way. Week one data file and week two you have the week two sales and week one sales are available in two different files. So you you need to combine these two into a single file. So this file will have both week one and week two data in it. So in this case, you are vertically, you are stacking this file with this one, okay? Or you might, right, you are stacking this file on top of this one. So you will, end of the day, you will be having a single file. In this file, you will have last two weeks data in it or 14 days data you have it here. Because he wants to see last 14 days, what is the total sales we made? In this case, you don't have to compute the total on the sales column of this file separately and this file separately. Instead, if you combine uh, these two files data on a single file, if you perform a sum on the sales column, it gives you 14 days total sales. And again, here, if you want to see seven days or two days sales performance, whatever the number of days, you know, between one to 14 days, you can do the aggregation. But if they ask you 14 days, last 14 days, or last two weeks total sales performance, in that kind of situation, since the data are available in a single file, it will be easier for you to compute the total sales. You don't have to have two tables. So here I have given only two tables in the real world scenario. Let's say you are an employer or, or let's say you work for Walmart. They have 2,500 plus retail chains or uh, spread it across the globe. So in that case, each week, two in you know in the two thousand five hundred locations data. If you pull it, two thousand five hundred files, and then you need to combine all the things into a single file. In that case, if you run a query against each file, it will take longer time, and it is also not manageable. Better you combine all the data into a single file. In that kind of scenario, you can go for append. Now the question is, um, <clears throat> now the question is, uh, what are the, um, what kind of scenarios can I append the data set? Like I said, if you want to combine the week one and week two data into a single file, which consists of two weeks data in it, then you can go for combining uh, similar tables, okay? Similar tables. What do you mean by similar table? Structure, the structure should be same. So what do you mean by structure? <clears throat> For example, uh, in week one file, week one file, 
and in week two file, you have something like uh, C1, C2, C3 columns are there. Here also you should have C1, C2, C3. If you have additional columns here, for example, you have four columns in this file available. In this file, only three columns are available. Still append will work. But what will happen when you combine these two things? Your combined file will have four columns in it. C1, C2, C3, and C4. For week one, what will happen is uh, it will have values for C1, C2, C3, but here it will have blank value. C1, C2, C3. But for week two, what will happen is, yes, you will have the data for all the four columns. You understood, right? But logically, you make sure that the structure is same. The columns, whatever the number of columns are there here, it should match with the number of columns in your second file. But if you have any additional columns, still the append will work. Simply it will put, you know, drag this data set and put it on top of this, you know, file. I just uh, write it this way. For example, For example, you have the, um, okay, let me write it. Forget about this. Let's say you have week one file. This is the week one file. And here you have column one, column two, and column three. And you have week uh, two file. But here you have C1, C2, C3, C4. In the latest version, it is working. You can combine these two files into a single file. But in a single file, what will happen is it will have C1, C2, C3, C1, C4. So this is week one and week two. In the case of week one, what will happen is you have a data for these three columns. This column will have blank value in it. After combining these two data set into a single file, okay? This is the problem. But in this case, let's say in your week one data set, you have 10 million records, 10 million records in this consolidated file, right? In this consolidated file, you will have blank value for C4. But for week two, yes, it will have value for C1, C2, C3, 4. But for 10 million records of your week one uh, data set, it doesn't, since it doesn't have C4 column, it will put blank for 10 million records. Your data set, final data set will have week one, week two data in it, but see in, in the week one data set for C4, column four, you will have the blank value for 10 million records. Your table look uh, so sparse. This is not the you know right way of doing it. Hence, make sure that, but logically you don't need, uh, when you try to append, you want to append week one and week two data set. In that case, whatever the columns that are there, you matching to this column, you have the columns are available here and then you can do it okay so you know try to avoid this one okay c1 c2 c3 even though you have c4 you can exclude them c1 c2 c3 alone you can keep it here okay because c4 is not there you can exclude it or else you check with your manager whether c4 is missing in this table data set or not if he says no yes a c4 should also be there in column four four columns should be there in all the data set then you ask him in this data set, I have only three columns are there. Please give me, uh, you know, the data set where I can find four column data for week one. This is where week one and week two. You need to ask this one, okay? And this one will have 14 days data in it, okay? But what the problem is, if you have three columns here and if the other data set, if you have four columns, still it will work. But the first data set, uh, after you consolidate these two things in a single file, in this file, for 10 million records of, for the week one data set, column four will have blank values. It is not the preferred one. Make sure that the columns are, number of columns are same in all the data set. And, this, and at the same time, the data types also same. For example, this is your um, number data type. Column is your, column two is your number data type. Let's say this is your quantity column. But here you have the quantity column, but it is a text data, data type. 
In this case, when you combine these two files, single file, what will happen? The text data from the quantity column of your week two will get loaded to your week one quantity columns numeric data type. In that case, what will happen is when you try to load a text into a numeric column, it will throw an error. The opposite is possible. String in a string column, you can load the number type. When the number type, you cannot load the string type. It will throw an error. The load will fail. The number of columns and then data types for each column, make sure that it's all same. Okay, the next one is uh, consolidating data from different uh, sources. This is another scenario. Okay, this is week one, week two, fine. Let's say we are running only one retail chain. In that case, um, I have only one retail store is there. Week one sales, I want week two sales, I want to append it with uh, week one sales. Uh, and I want to combine week two and week one into a single file. That is fine. But different data sources. Sometimes, like I said, the data will be available in Excel files. Some files are available in your um, CSV files. Some files, JSON files. Okay, in that case, you need to bring all the data together into a single data set. In that kind of situation also, we will be using append. We will be performing append. Okay. And the classic example, like I said, you are a manufacturing unit. You want to buy the raw materials. Only when you have the raw materials in your factory, you can produce the finished good. The finished good is the one you sell it to your customer. Okay. So in that case, what will the raw materials uh, before you buy the purchase the raw materials? You go and check um, vendor one, what is the price he gives and vendor two, what price he gives for you know different raw materials. Vendor three, how much price he specify. For example, you are, on, uh, you're, you are producing uh, automobile uh, part, okay? You are producing automobile part. For that, the nuts and screws and bolts you are buying it from these guys, okay? But you cannot buy it everything from a single person. Sorry, uh, let's say you want to buy it from a single person so that the maintenance overhead will be less. And at the same time, you want to see who gives the cheaper price. And then who can deliver it on time with quality, okay? So in that case, to know that, you need to solicit the code from the three uh, more than one vendor. In that case, these vendors are giving the data in different file. One guy gives the data in Excel file. One, one guy gives the data in JSON file. Another guy gives the data in CSV files. Some guys, they will be giving the data in tables, Oracle data tables or something like that. In that case, you need to combine all the data into a single file. In that kind of situation, also you can, you will be performing the append operation. The next one is appending or increment historical or incremental data. Like I said, you might have monthly sales data that needs to be continuously added to your sales table, master sales table. And appending the new data each month helps maintain up to date and comprehensive data set. In that kind of situation, also you can go for append operation. So here I I am just discussing about various scenarios when you can perform append operation okay In incremental data is started let's say you have month one data is available and uh, month two data is available you have a master table you want to combine everything you know whenever they say first month completes you load the data here whenever the second month completes you load the data here so this data set will have historical data in it or incremental data in it for example last four years data you have loaded it here and then every month and you want to load uh, for example up to 2012 you sorry 2022 you have loaded the data so jan month 2023 you are going to load it here so that already you have 20 year 2022 data up to year 2022 data available here incrementally you are going to add it here so when every month end you are going to load the data into this so, so for example this is jan 2023. So in the case, along with um, this data, let's say in this data set, you have up to 2021, three years data are available. 2020, 2020, 2021, three years data you loaded here. And then to keep this data file up to date on an incremental basis, every month you, you are loading the data. So January 2023, that month 
end data or so at, you know end of that month you are loading the jan 2023 data here at the end of uh, feb 2023 you are loading this second month data. so in that case up to date you know this data file will have all the data starting from 2022 till date okay till this month in that kind of situation also you can go for conducting the append but this is these are the prerequisites you to you should remember it the one which is the so number of columns should be same and the data type for the column should also be similar okay and then combining with different filters or transformations what do you mean by different filters or transformation let's say you want to combine the results all the, the, the files the results into a single table in that case what you are doing is um, if the data volume is very high in that case what we do is you are applying the filter okay select star from table where region equal to north north region data you have it here okay and then what you are doing is you have south region data here okay you apply the filter filter in the sense select only the subset of the data in this case subset of the data is north region you extract it put it in a file and extract the south region data in a file and then you do the combine you do the append so in that case uh, both north and south data will get combined together that is what append so append is all about so now you understood what is append is all about to combine the you know files or queries uh, you know between um, two files or more than two files in that kind of situation you are going to use the append this is what you know append is all about and what scenarios you'll be using it combining similar tables structure because what do you mean by structure number of columns in all the data all the data sets are same and the data type also same consolidating data from different sources i've explained you with example and incremental in these kind of scenarios you know you can better go ahead and do the append perform the append thing okay what are the prerequisites obviously first one is the common sense you need to have access to those tables you want to combine it or queries second one is structure all the table number of columns and data type should be similar but uh, the order of column doesn't matter order of column doesn't matter none of you ask this question for example week one i have c1 c2 column one column two column three data is there in week two i have c1 c2 data is all the these things but here c3 is there c2 is there in that case also in the latest version it works automatically see when you combine these two data set into a single file what happens is uh, the c1 data column data gets into this one and the c2 data automatically get, gets loaded into the c2 column of your first table and then this one gets loaded into this one hence order of column doesn't matter the order column columns can be changed c1 c2 c3 in some file c1 c3 c2 let it be there in the latest version it takes care of that number of columns in both the tables to in this case two tables in real world scenario you will have multiple tables two or more tables the number of uh, columns need not to be same but ideally the columns number of columns should be same okay and also uh, the data type should be same okay these are the prerequisites before you proceed with performing the append operation i'll just show you in power query editor how to do the same thing I just load some files. Already I have some files are available. So append one. There is something called append one. I just hit to open. This file will get loaded into my Power BI desktop. I'm going to select sales. So in this Excel file, append one dot XLS file, we have um, column six columns are there. Let me just check. Yeah, I just choose foreign sales. I'll choose this one. In this Excel sheet, I have two sheets are there. Within a single Excel file, you can have more than one sheet, isn't it? Subsheet. 
I'm going to select this subsheet as part of this file. I'm going to hit load. Ah, for such a small number of records, it takes a lot of time. Instead of introducing new new features, Microsoft better they can focus on the performance. And uh, Excel workbook and append to append to dot xls. I'm going to click on open. Two files I have loaded here. The reason why I loaded two files, so you can append more than two tables also. And here I'm going to select only one thing is there. Okay, fine. It load. It should be pretty fast here. Very slow this one. Okay, next I'm going to click on the transform data, open the Power Query Editor. So currently I'm in the Power Query Editor. In the Power Query Editor, I'm going to select Foreign Sales and Sales. I just rename it with the file name itself. This is append one, and the second one is the append two. In the append two, you can see four columns, product, sales, currency, and but here date one is there. The column name is date one here, and if you go to the append one, and if you see here, you have same columns, product, sales, currency. Can you see it here? Product, sales, currency, right? These three columns are similar between these two tables, fine, but the date column is there, but whereas here date one is there, column name is differing. And at the same time, the location, right? If you see here, you don't see the location here. Two issues, one is the number of columns are more in append one. In, the, in this file, you have five columns are there. In this file, you have only the table. You have only four columns are there. In this table, you have five and columns. Here, you have four columns. That is not the preferred one. Uh, and the next one is uh, the column name is different. Column name is, see, if I remove location here, for example, this is not required after looking at the data, I understand this is not required while combining the data sets, I'm going to remove it. This is my requirement, okay? But here four column, here also four columns are there. The problem here is the, the column names are not matching. With this, what you understand, I need to add one more clause here when it comes to prerequisites. Number of columns should be same. Data type should be same. The order of the column doesn't matter, but the column names should also be same. You understood? Okay, now what I do is I click on the home ribbon and here you find something called combine. In this case, you will have, when you click on the drop down available in the combine menu uh, button, okay, you can see the append queries here. I'm going to click on append queries new, not the append queries. If I use append queries, what will happen is it will combine these two data set into a single file. Okay, that is what I needed. But after it combines these two files into a single file, later point in time to cross verify how many number of records are there, what data was there in each file, you will not have any clue. Hence, click on append queries as new. Append queries as new. Here you can append more than uh, two also. Okay. 
but uh, since we have only two data sets i'm going to you know go ahead with this default option two tables append one my other file name is append two i'm going to hit okay now a new query will get created in that query you will find the columns from both the tables and the rows columns and rows from both the tables will get combined into this file append one append to these two files data will get combined into this one let's wait and see what happens yes product sales currency these two columns are common between append one and append two since the column names are not same what happened it puts the column name you know the date and date one as a two different columns and then if you see here in this first data set you will find null for all the values in a date call date one column because the column name was different here if i rename it as date what will happen can someone type it in the chat window let me see how many of you are awake if i rename the date one as date what will happen yes uh, pavitra you are correct rupa you are correct divya you are correct what they say is see this is what is happening i think uh, most of you are feeling sleepy please wake up i have append 1 append 1 and append 2 okay and what i need is i need a single file this one should have append 1 and append 2 uh, data in it but what problem are we posing it it is all correct but what happens in append 1 c1 c2 c3 c4 is there but in append 2 we have c1 c2 c3 c4 4 is there the column name in that case c1 c2 c3 up to this or same all the data from append this file to this file will get copied here c1 co column values get copied to c c2 c3 column values of your append to will get appended with your um c3 column of your append one but here you have c4 and c double mistake there is a typo here column name i did this one supposed to four since the column names are not similar it will you know create a new column here c44 in this in this single file okay see look here in append one please concentrate a very simple concept and here you have c1 c2 c3 c4 4 both the table the columns are same the order is also more or less same but the problem is the column names are not same hence it will create additional column instead of having four columns here you will have how many columns c1 c2 c3 c4 c4 4 so 3 plus 2 5 columns will be there this is not preferred so you need to check with your manager the c4 for is uh, same as c4 or c4 is same as c4 if he says no there is a typo here it, it cannot be c4 for it is a c4 rename it then the issue will get resolved okay all the c4 data will get loaded otherwise a new column like c4 four will get created for your entire data set okay i think all of you are not um, con you know feeling tired exhausted what i am teaching is a very very small data set in real time it's very big look here in append one how many rows are there 14 rows are there in append how many rows are there five rows 14 plus 5 how much 19 rows in append 3 19 rows are there because we have combined this data set and this data set into a single file but the problem is here date one has been considered as a different column altogether actually the values in the date one column should also be in here so what i do is i just go to the append 2 and then i am going to rename it here remove one press enter it got renamed if i go to the append 3 automatically you can see that the date one column removed instead all the date one column related data got loaded in a single column date so overall 19 records are there this looks pretty decent hope you understood uh, with this examples uh, you what what is append is all about stacking one table on top of another table vertically is called your append 
and when should I go for performing the append operation and what are the prerequisites? We already discussed it. Okay. And the, uh, the disadvantage with append is it will blindly append all the values from both the table. In that situation, what will happen is a duplicate records can enter into your final data set. So this is what your final data set. Okay, let's say 14 days data are available in this data set. But for this, the sources uh, week one and week two, these are the sources you combined it. Okay, you combined it. So in this kind of situation, you have, uh, let's say C1, C2, C3, C4, and but here you have C1, C2, C3, C44 is there. But here, um, or let's say no, C4 is there. Here you have 100, sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40 values are there, okay? Here also you have 10, 20, 30, 40 values are there. And then let's say no, 11, 22, 33, 44, something like that. Here also, let's say no, 11, 25, 28, 32. In this case, this record and this record, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, repeats more than one time. Duplicate records are there. When you combine these two data set, with 10, 20, 30, 40, and again 10, 20, 30, 40 will go in here. In that case, append cannot do anything. It is kind of a union all operator, union all operator in your SQL query. It is not union. There is a difference between union and union all in SQL query. In the case of union, the same uh, prerequisites needs to be met in order to perform union. Like all the columns in the different in in the data sets or similar should be similar number of columns should be same and uh, data type should also be same and the column names also should be same okay but in the case of union what will happen is when it encounters something like duplicate records it will remove the duplicate record but uh, union all it will not remove the two simply it will combine all the values of these two data sets into a single file that is called union. But union all can have duplicate records. Like in Power Query Editor, the append can have duplicate records in it because it is performing union all operation, not union. This is the one thing you need to remember it. Okay. So this wraps up the union, sorry, the append uh, topic.